Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm super excited to share with you what I'm calling a hand-me-down haul. And I have eight amazing perfumes. Uh, my friend Lori, she kind of went on a blind buy haul extravaganza. And um, these are the ones that didn't do it for her. So I have eight beautiful perfumes here to share with you. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm trying to be quiet because it's early in the morning. But uh, yes. Here's my perfumes. Well, I'm gonna share them with you in a second. I have to calm down. I'm pretty excited. But before I do that, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to go ahead and just, just go ahead and subscribe. I would love it if you would join the weird and wonderful family. And um, also go ahead and hit that notification button. And then uh, I think that that gives you the community tab uh, like I don't know, know quite how the community tab works, but I believe if you hit that notification bell, then you get all my community tab stuff and I like putting stuff on there. It's just kind of fun. I really, really love the fact that I have a community tab. So uh, you can do polls and different stuff like that. I just think it's fun. So uh, that'll get you hooked up with that, I believe. And then also feel free to follow me on Instagram. Uh, I post there quite regularly, like almost every day. So uh, feel free to join me over there. And yeah, that's about it. So let's get started. I'm super pumped about all of these. So uh, let's start with... Lalique Le Parfum. Now, first of all, this bottle is amazing. Like, I just think it's gorgeous. And what's really cool about it is um, on the top of the cap, there's uh, this little thing here, which is blurry, and I, I my camera isn't going to pick it up. But it is, um, it looks like a woman, like some sort of sea sprite woman or a Medusa or something like that that's sculptured into, the, like it's kind of raised up. It's just neat. It's a very cool looking bottle. So the smell inside, that's, uh, I can't smell it like that. Let me just do this. Okay, so this one smells... Uh, this one doesn't smell as current as uh, some perfumes, so I don't know when this one was made, but my guess is this is, uh, you know, more early 2000s. Not that I would know, but that's what I'm guessing. Uh, this one I do know because I looked on Fragrantica that it has a bay note. So this one smells like a sweet perfume, but it's got a hint of green or, yeah, I wouldn't say it's herbaceous, more green uh, from that bay leaf. I like this one. To me, this one is quite classy. Ooh, I'm kind of excited to wear this one. To me, this is a classy sexy. And this is a heavy bottle. Like this, this is solid, man. Oh, I, I love heavy, thick bottles. So <laughs> this one, this one's good. I'm going to put it to the side uh, with the card on it and we'll see as, as we go. But that one I really do like. <laughs> now next, I have uh, Dolce and Gabbana Pour Femme. Now I've been really excited to try this one because um, everybody, like everybody talks about how amazing this one is. And I've had a ton of people recommend this one to me. People say it smells like raspberry and marshmallow. Let's see. Okay, I'm not noticing uh, any specific raspberry or, or marshmallow. Not at all so far. So to me, this just smells not even overly sweet. Uh, the Lilique one was definitely sweeter. So I'm going to let this dry down again. Like it's really hard to tell until you put them on. Uh, but I'm certainly not noticing the raspberry and marshmallow right off the bat. Now the next perfume that I have that I'm super excited about, and again, this one's talked about quite a lot on YouTube, and that is Versace uh, Crystal Noir. Now this one, and I believe this is the ED, yeah, it's the EDT. So this one has coconut in it. I think that there's coffee in it for, from what I remember. Okay, this one is super sexy. This one to me has a, like a peppery opening. So to me, this one kind of, I'm sorry I say to me so much. <laughs> I'll try to not say to me all the time, but 
but I don't know how to say it smells like this to me without saying to me anyway. Okay, so uh, in the opening, what I get is uh, pepper or like a black tea almost, but more pepper than anything. It smells smooth, a little bit creamy, but peppery at the same time. Um, and like, I'm not smelling the coconut right now, uh, but I do believe there's coconut and maybe coffee in here. Uh, it smells like a sexy perfume, but it smells like, like kind of cold, uh, cold perfume, like aloof, aloof. That would be the word I use to describe this one, a sexy aloof woman. So I'm, a, I'm picturing a gorgeous, uh, dark haired babe. Uh, she's wearing a leather jacket and she is not impressed by anything, but she's beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, like she doesn't smile a whole lot. She looks a little bit contemptuous. That's this girl here. So yeah, maybe when I'm wanting to channel my inner, my inner nasty, <laughs> I'll put this one on. But so far I actually really like this one. Okay, the next one I have that I was super excited about uh, was uh, Prada Candy. Now, um, I know a lot of people talk about this one as well. I haven't uh, because I'm pretty new to the whole fragrance thing. I haven't smelled a whole lot of these perfumes So, you know, I might have sniffed it at some point, but then as You know like now what I'd be doing is smelling a couple and comparing them different stuff like that I haven't had a chance because of COVID. So this one. Oops. I'm not sure about uh, But I'm excited Oh Okay, this gives me a little bit, a little bit of a cotton candy vibe. Maybe every time I take a sniff, I should do my eyebrows. <laughs> okay, so I can't really tell with this one. Uh, it just smells sweet to me, a little bit candy-ish, uh, but I'm not getting anything specific. So this one I'll have to try on my skin because I'm just not quite sure about it. So the next one that I have is this one. It's called Al Amaken, I think is how you would say it. Al Amaken uh, by Swiss Arabian. Amaken is what I'm thinking. So this one I did look on Fragrantica with this one. And this one is supposed to be a uh, or similar to Le Vie Belle. Whoa, wrong direction completely. There we go. Okay, so this one's really pretty. Right off the cuff, this one's pretty. Um, this one, it, like the bottle's kind of cheese ball looking, but the cap has these little purple gems in it, which is quite pretty. And this is super heavy too. Like seriously, I, I really do believe that if ever I had an intruder in my house, I would just start throwing my perfume bottles at them because I'm sure it would knock one out. <laughs> Hopefully that'll never happen. Now this one is supposedly like Le Vie Belle. So I'm going to spray Le Vie Belle on a card too and just see if I can see if I can notice a difference. They're pretty similar. I'd say Le Vie Belle is a little bit sweeter. Definitely have similar notes. Definitely, like I would say that the Alechem has uh, patchouli in it as well. So they're, the, the, yeah, they, they do smell similar. I wouldn't say they're a complete dupe because uh, I don't know how they dry down or anything like that, but um, yeah. Not bad, not bad at all. So the next one I was super excited about and it is Jasmine Wisp. Now the reason why I was excited about this is Paulina Shar. I'll leave her channel down below. She has great taste in perfume. She's very, very sweet. And she talked about this uh, and talked about really liking this one. Actually, I think she loved this so much she was saying that this could potentially become her signature scent. So I looked up the notes in this one, not that I remember all of them, but I did see that it had passion fruit, I believe. There's coconut in there. I'm not smelling the coconut. I'm smelling a lot of fruit, uh, but then I'm smelling kind of patchouli-esque. Uh, 
I'm smelling a lot of fruit, so it smells sweet. I can't distinguish any specific fruit, uh, but I really like the way this one smells. Like I looked on um, Fragrantica and I was looking in the comments and one person said this smelled like, kind of basically said that it smelled like an absolute disaster. And I can't imagine why they would feel that way. Uh, everybody's different, but to me this one smells really sweet, really tasty. I, I'm curious as to what that smells like as it dries down. But so far, I think it smells awesome. I like it. I like it a lot. So the last one that I have to share with you um, is probably the one that I'm most excited about. And that is Florence by Swiss Arabian. Now, uh, I think that this is in the same line as the Casablanca perfume that everybody's been talking about. And when I smelt this, I instantly thought of Intense Cafe by Montel. Intense Cafe by Montel, but more praline -y than coffee and more, um, it has like some people uh, on the Fragrantica site said that it smells like beer on their skin. I don't get beer, but I, I think there's a little hint of an apple juicy feel in this like maybe not like I haven't smelled Casablanca so maybe Casablanca really smells like apple juice my guess is that the DNA in all of these would be kind of a little bit of an apple juicy feel that's my guess uh, but this this just smells like it smells very similar to Intense Cafe and I have Intense Cafe here the Intense Cafe you definitely get more coffee so this is more praline this is more coffee and this one has more of, uh, like this one's a deeper, darker version of this, I would say. Uh, but this one is great for during the day. Ugh, it just, I think this one smells amazing. It smells like luxurious, sexy. I would wear this during the day, but maybe it would be overpowering. So I'm excited to try this out and see how it lasts on the skin. And the last one that I have for you is a Frederico Mahora dupe uh, from the Pure Royale line. And it is number 142 FM World is what it's called. And I believe this is a dupe for Dior Addict. Now this one, um, it does smell like Dior Addict. Uh, I sprayed the two side by side uh, one day. And what I found was although they smelt similar, uh, and this definitely gave an addict vibe. What I found is that as they dry down, the Dior Addict gets kind of like smooth and creamy. Uh, yeah, it gets really, there's a smooth edge to it that's just beautiful. And this, I don't notice that. So this one stays more, uh, like it stays more like the opening. So a little bit scratchy, a little bit, like a little bit prickly scratchy on the nose. Uh, at least in my opinion. Uh, whereas Dior Addict kind of starts that way, but then it mellows out and it just becomes kind of a lot smoother. This one doesn't have the smoothness, uh, but it is a pretty decent uh, likeness to Dior Addict. So yeah, that one's that. So that is it. Those all my new perfumes. Um, out of all of them, I would say the, the two that I'm most excited about are Jasmine Wisp and Florence. And then I would go with um, these three. Oh, I wanna smell this one and see how it's dried down so far. So these three, uh, I really like. And then Prada Candy and uh, the Poor Femme, those are gonna be, uh, we'll, we'll seize. We'll see how they work. I don't know, I think I just lost the card. Yeah, this one's the, the Le Parfum by Lalique. That's an interesting one. That one I think is going to be a little bit challenging, but it's it, I it's kind of interesting. And the poor femme, I'm still not getting any raspberry or marshmallow on it, so maybe it takes longer to dry down. But that's it. Those are my new perfumes. So I hope you like them. So the question is, which one do you think I'm going to wear today? Do you all know it? Yeah, yeah. It's going to be this one. So uh, I'm going to give this one a try for the day and see how it uh, works out. I don't go quite as crazy as some people. Well, maybe I'll do one down there too. It doesn't ever hurt to do one down there. 
Okay, right now I smell so freaking delicious. I can't even, I can't even, I can't even. Okay, that's it. <laughs> that's it for today. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed my little fun hand-me-down haul and I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.